Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. On behalf of my new wife and I, <laughs> I would like to thank you all for joining us today to help celebrate this amazing day. It wouldn't be the same without you all here, but it certainly would have been cheaper. <laughs> As a new life dawns, standing side by side, may your hearts become one and may love abide. May the dreams that you're dreaming all come true and may everything wonderful happen to you. May you come to know that in love it's wise to give of yourself and to compromise, to learn how to listen and how to forgive and to treasure each other as long as you live. May you be as happy as you can be in a home that's filled with tranquility. But when storms arise and they cause you distress, may you counter the turmoil with tenderness. As you share in the laughter and the tears, may you freely express your hopes and your fears. May you grow all together, side by side, and forever and always, may two love abide.
Welcome to St. Kentigan's Church for our very special service, our service for the wedding of Sean and Laura. It is lovely to be able to welcome you here this morning. I, Sean. I, Laura Margaret. Take you, Laura Margaret. Take you, Sean. To be my wife. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From, from this day, day forward, forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for, for poorer. poorer. In sickness, sickness and, and in health. health. To, to love and, and to cherish. To death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In, in the, the presence of God, of God I, make I make this vow. Now I think that's all the thank yous out the way. I suppose I should get on to my wife. <laughs> we first met through tug of war not knowing that the first time I met her I would fall in love with her from the moment I met her I thought she was beautiful hard working kind and caring and just hoped one day she'd maybe give me a chance to show her how much I could love her Everything, every part of me, I'm yours. Our first day was at the Sally and Irvington. I was, think I was thinking somewhere nice out the way, not too far out the way, somewhere nice food, and we'll not really bump into anyone. Lo and behold, to pull into the car park and see none other than whose car park there. 
Laurie Brunskill. <laughs> you can't do anything without man being there. At this point, we didn't know whether to carry on with our day or run. <laughs> After a quick deliberation, we thought it'll be fine. We'll be sat at the other end of the room, it'll be like they're not there. Only to walk in and find only one two-seated table left spare. And where was it? Sat right behind Laurie Brunskill and Simon Smith. <laughs> Just the two people you want to sit next to while having the first date with the girl of your dreams. So a whole night of them turning around, asking questions, pulling faces, just being them two really. We finished our date and I, I thought we left on a high. When I got home, I laid in bed and thought, that was it, my chance is gone. Surely Laura's not going to want to have a second date after that. But thankfully for me, I messaged her the next day and she wanted a rerun and the rest is history. I can't thank her enough for giving me the chance. Since that day, my love has only grown stronger for you and I've loved every second we've been able to spend together and all the memories we've created. You are the best mum and wife to me and Elsie and we can't thank you enough for everything you do for us. You are our world always and forever and we will love you. So just a toast to my beautiful wife. <laughs> Every part of me, I'm yours Through everything, here we stand Hand in hand, I'm Right, good afternoon everybody. Before I start, doesn't Laura look absolutely amazing here today in that dress? It makes a change from a wearing the trousers in the relationship. As for Sean, we've tried our best. Now, I wouldn't say Sean was, a, was an ugly baby. But uh, Sandra told me that she only had morning sickness after he was born. <laughs> For those of you that know Roger, you will know he's very passionate about his homegrown vegetables, aren't you Roger? A fierce competitor in the Holbanger League show, Roger was ecstatic when it came, became apparent that he'd fathered a strong entry for the Swede show. <laughs> you won't <must> play, son. <laughs> <laughs> 